Hi everybody! Thanks for joining us on on Saturday here. I'm Nathan Chan, the Managing Director of Proud Fertility, and we have... Hi everybody, I'm Serenity Hebert, and I am a doula with Serenity Childbirth Services. Yeah, so um, we're just going to talk a little bit about how I'm super excited. You guys know that I'm into these alternative ways of just kind of celebrating this amazing milestone for me, and it's something that you might want to consider. <clears throat> for those of you who don't can you guys see that there that's my child right there right there she's just waking up it's in the middle of the afternoon and so what are we doing today well today I'm actually making a dream catcher out of Nathan's daughter's umbilical cord yeah go and see it so I'm gonna bring it forward and close and hopefully you can catch some of the light so you can see so <laughs> So normally when it comes to dream catchers in the First Nations cultures, it's made out of a ring of wood. And this is almost more sacred and more spiritual because it's made out of Nanette's and Bilko cord. Mm -hmm. So it's quite special and you can see in the light all of the arteries and the veins. So I'm going to wrap it with leather and then start going through the process. It's a very strong thing too. Can I touch it? It is. It's extremely strong. Okay. I'm like very scared that it might break. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to break. Um, okay, well, let's not try to break it. Don't try to break it. <laughs> so it's a very, um, for those of you who tuned in, um, I actually missed, uh, unfortunately missed the birth of my child and I was really upset about that. But you know, that's kind of how things go and you never know when the baby comes and so it was about a month early. Um, so that's a very short, small umbilical cord. Sometimes dreams can be, uh, dreams can be big. Sometimes <laughs> umbilical cords can be longer, they can be longer. They can. Okay. So when I was looking at this umbilical cord it was quite short um and typically they're double in the size okay so you're gonna add feathers to you guys i hope yeah. you guys know what a dream catcher looks like so what's the point of a dream catcher the point of a dream catcher is it catches all of the dreams that are not so great and it allows the great dreams to go through the middle because you can see there's webbing on the outside and then there's a hole in the middle and it's really a nice artistic keepsake. That's what my intention of doing it is mm -hmm. for. It's just an artistic keepsake. It comes from the First Nations cultures. Um, and it's good for intended parents who are actually um, going through a surrogacy journey and honoring um, like the land that your child has actually been born in um, from, our, from your culture, which is your land in the beginning. So I thought that was really important. Um, talking a little bit about why it's important for people who are just having babies, whether they're sterile babies or not sterile babies. For me, um, I think it's really important because, you know, I think my daughter's probably wondering, hey, I'm supposed to be in my surrogate's womb for four more weeks or three more weeks, but now it's a bit traumatic, I think. So do you yeah. think this could be helpful? It can, yeah, we were talking about that. Mm -hmm. We were just saying, cause she was born a bit early and just kind of honoring this time and another four weeks after when her due date was supposed to be, which is June. June yeah, June, in the middle right? of June, middle of June. early June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just kind of having more, because you're paying attention, like just by doing these little steps of honoring and respecting the birth process, you're really being mindful of the whole process and then you're being mindful to your baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, do you think people watching this should just kind of do it themselves, or is it mainly for somebody like yourself? You're also, um, you identify as First Nations. That's the correct term, if I'm correct. Yeah. yeah. yeah correct term, if I'm correct. That's completely fine. Yeah. yeah. You can add feathers. Yeah. If you're yeah. into feathers. So, truly, I think anybody could make it. Um, I'm Ojibwe and Cree. I'm from Ontario. Um, and I was taught how to make it from a, being a little girl. So, there is certain traditions and ways um, to make it. There's mm -hmm. rights and wrongs, so I follow those. And then, therefore, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it properly for you. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you for doing it properly. I bought a dream catcher for one of our recent births. I did not have time to ask them to send me an umbilical cord <laughs> <laughs> recently. Okay, so yeah, basically, um, and you, there definitely are some traditions in doing it too, like in the beginning. I mean, we didn't start chanting or anything like that, but I know that in the morning, typically First Nations people would smudge in the morning, okay. right? What is smudging again, just for those who don't know? Yep. So this morning before I came, I smudged in my home 
um, to kind of leave all of my own energy at my house because this was a gift for Nathan and Matt. It's not for me, it has nothing to do with me. So I just use um, sage and a little bit of cedar, which are two cleansing medicines that can be found in Mother Nature. Okay. Yeah. So you're wrapping the cord, the milko cord. Yes. Okay. So um, do you think there's many people, are there actually, do you think, are there many people like yourselves who make umbilical keepsake dream catchers? Or yeah. are you just mainly one of the few people in Canada doing them? Um, I've, so I, this wasn't my own idea. There's another woman in Grand Prairie who okay. makes them. Okay. Yeah, and our, our daughters go to preschool together. Perfect. Yeah. So people can still send you them. And I think yes. speaking of sending, um, I'm so big into having these keepsake things. Like this is just one way. We wrote a blog the other day about doing things like placenta art. Um, we did one on belly casting and um, what was the third one? Oh my gosh, placenta jewelry or um, keepsake oh, yeah. jewelry. So um, Serenity also made these, pl these placenta prints and this is a little bit bloody, but you can, these are just on watercolor printer, uh, print. <laughs> I love this one. This is my favorite. Oops, there you are. Yeah, because so. how this all correlates into my work at Starney Childbirth Services is I'm a birth doula, postpartum doula, but I'm also a placenta encapsulation specialist. Mm -hmm. So, and then I, I just really, for me, it's kind of that art balance of bringing back, because my job can be quite stressful and tiring, mm -hmm. and then I like to have that creative outlet. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it's, it brings so much joy to families. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It is. It's really beautiful. So like people can send you their umbilical cord. They can. Right? They I can mean, just dry it up and then... Yeah, they would just have to dehydrate it themselves mm -hmm. and kind of form it into a ring for me. Yeah. And definitely... Like they could shape it. it in the ring so it dries that specific way. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be in the shape of a circle mm -hmm. or, or whatever shape it comes in, but hopefully a nice circle. Mine was very short. It couldn't even spell the word N. <laughs> <laughs> it just was a tiny little hole. Um, do bigger umbilical cord... The parts mean bigger dreams that you'll be able to fight off? And no? no? No, because like the webbing will be the same. The amount of sinew, so sinew is going to be the inside. Okay. Okay. So Show it's it the string. Me. It's kind of like a waxy string. And that is going to be what I um, kind of move in to in around the dream catcher to create the net that okay. catches, catches the dreams. So you just take little pieces of beads that are more meaningful and see. Yeah. Authentically pleasing is important too. I know, and I definitely like these yellow ones for your daughter. Perfect. I really, really like those ones. And um, I, I think the last thing I wanted to say was for me, as an intended parent, I don't actually live in the same city as where the surrogate is and where Nanette is born. My daughter's name is Nanette, for those of you joining in. Um, she's very squirmy. Should we bring her over? <laughs> so, um, ugh. Don't criticize me if I'm holding it wrong. She's tiny. That's why she's furry. Anyways, I just think it's, um, yeah, I think it's a really important way to kind of honor the, 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 the fact that, you know, she knows that this is, I was, I didn't, I didn't carry her. <laughs> I didn't birth her. Mm -hmm. But it's another way to kind of, I think it's a really important keepsake for the baby in my situation. Yes. But would this umbilical cord dream catcher be good for other surrogate moms who want to have this made for them because their surrogate baby is now no longer no longer attached to them. Yeah. If they are delivering a baby for someone in Spain or or England or Mexico or something like that. Absolutely. Like just the umbilical cord it's, itself, it is it's part of the baby and the connecting to the gestational surrogate, right? Absolutely. And it has the lifeline in it. That's where all the nutrition and the Actually, you show the people, can you go closer? Yeah. To what you're doing? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just binding the leather around. So you can see it's time consuming, but. It takes a little bit of time. It does take a bit of time. Just the process of drying it. Drying it. Yeah, it takes like. 26 oh hours. God. 26 oh, hours? In a dehydrator, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Nanette's very thankful to you. Oh my gosh, I'm very... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I think it's great that... Um, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. And if you ever want to send your umbilical cord... I mean, I think one of the other intended parents I spoke to, I'm like, what did you do with the umbilical cord? I think we threw it out. I'm like, you threw it out! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we'll tell you a little bit more uh, um, with what other things we do for Keepsake, but um, Serenity Childbirth Services has also uh, dried my placenta. Yeah. And we sent it over to um, Alchemy. Uh, so that was going to be cool too because I'm looking for that as well too. So It's going to be so cool. Your dog ate it. Lovely. Well, don't let your dog eat your umbilical cord. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing. This was very sacred and we're just sitting here. She is wet. Lovely. <laughs> We're gonna change the Those dreams, I want dreams of no poop explosions as we've had already. Perfect, I'll work on it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Do you want to press finish for me or use Dude. her feet to do it? <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.